the vision is, is to create the best rugby environment at a university uh, for women in the country. Uh, the environment itself combines a full-time um, education uh, or masters um, or indeed part-time with a, uh, a professional rugby environment. Um, so we provide strength and conditioning, uh, physiotherapy, um, nutrition advice along with specialist rugby coaching uh, for professional coaches. Um, and whilst combining the pressures of studying as well um, and also work placements etc etc uh, with a view to um, becoming the elite of uh, women's rugby at university level. Um, the Trailfinder Trojans Academy offers sort of um, an opportunity for girls that doesn't really exist in the country at the minute. Growing up there was never really a sort of a women's academy like there is often for the men. So to be part of this sort of developing academy setup where there's not really one like it was an incredible opportunity and it's really good for me to be able to work with sort of girls, helping them develop and helping see them progress on the rugby career in a way that I probably would have liked to when I was younger. The partnership between uh, Ealing and Brunel is fantastic. So we, we're a university team uh, as Brunel women, but we run under the kind of, um, I don't know, band of, of Ealing, the, the branding of Ealing. So we get all the support, all the backing from them. Um, and then, but we still play as, as Brunel women. I think the thing that it offers is it's combined with their studies. Um, so we sort of fit their sort of training sessions around their studies, so they're full-time students, but then their, their rugby takes quite a big sort of part of their lives as well. Um, and that's something that the sort of the setup at Brunel really enables. A lot of the contracts that are given to women are on like professional terms, so for the premiership. So I think, yeah, there are contracts for women on premiership level, but at our level, a lot of us are playing like champ two, champ one. There aren't many contracts available for women at that level. Um, so yeah, that's given us such a good opportunity because they're not just giving us a contract when we're already at a high level, they're kind of sponsoring us the whole way through um, to help us on our journey, to help us become as good as we can be. Um, and obviously using the gym, having the S&C, all of that, having the physio is just going to make us better. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll get to quite a high level um, because of it. Trojans is a really exciting opportunity for all of us. Uh, they've supplied uh, fantastic coaches, SNC staff, and physios. Um, and I think for me, it's the best opportunity I have to play a good standard of rugby whilst at university. You understand? So that's the line I want you to hit. Because if I move, Andy gets it. If I don't move, it goes behind. Does that make sense? Yeah? Let's go. Doesn't matter about getting it wrong. Try it. Who's my point? Those of you uncomfortable, be pulling for me. Good. Maddie wants. Good, good, good. We're played. Good. Well done. That's it. That's it. Perfect. She looks up and she fixes D, okay? So once she's fixed you, Destiny, you're looking at the hooker. Once she's looking at you, she's ready, yep. Yeah? I want you to change so you almost come up off your knees and those studs are in the, in the ground, okay? Yep. Good. That's it. Good. Awesome. My coaching style, it's not, it's, it's, it's kind of, I think, I'm very, very open to, to, to know. I always say it's just my opinion, doesn't mean I'm right. Um, and there's certain things. I've got a way of playing, which I like to have every every woman, you know, every player should look to score every time they get the ball. And if they can't, then, then everything comes into place. I think what we have to do is a lot of people I've worked with in the past complicate rugby. Um, it's a really simple game, sometimes made more complicated by, by tactics and coaching. Um, but, you know, with, with the level I'm working with at the moment, and they're, they're very, very competitive athletes. Um, it's just enabling them to to everybody with the way we play um, is very similar to how trial finders play, but with a you know, we've kind of simplified it a little bit. Um, enables every player to be part of an attacking um, move. So forwards don't just do this, and backs don't just do this. Everybody does everything. So in my opinion, everybody's a nine. Everybody could be a prop, and every, you know. So so we play like that. Um, so that kind of transcends itself into how I coach. Uh, Steve's really good. We've um, obviously not worked together for that long, but he's he's really passionate about girls rugby, really passionate about driving the recruitment. Like we're getting girls coming all the time. He gets on really well with the girls and I think they're keen to sort of try and improve for him all the time. Um, and he sort of gets on their level and makes it into a way that they can understand. And I think we're just gonna go from strength to strength as we work together. Uh, 
Steve's probably one of the best, if not the best coach I've ever had. Um, he's absolutely fantastic with all of us. He individually helps every player on that pitch at every training session, uh, whether it just be a comment or whether it be uh, extra skills that he thinks you, want, uh, you need to do or if you want to do things. Uh, so, for example, I'm a kicker, so I just say, see if I do some kicking and he'll come, he'll come down and we'll go for an hour, do some kicking uh, with maybe a few other players. Steve's great. Um, Steve, he's honest. He tells you exactly how it is, which I think is really good. When you beat around the bush, it's not that helpful. Um, if I've done a bad pass, he'll tell me. There's no point him telling me it was amazing because that's not going to improve my performance. Um, so I think that's something that he's really good. He's being honest and he's telling us what we need to improve. Um, there's a bit of tell. Um, I think there has to be sometimes. You know, a lot of this, um, there's, there's lots of, um, uh, the, the, you know, kind of learn through play, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm, 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 I'm a great believer in sometimes you just need to tell people what to do um, because they ask you that direct question and you have to be able to provide them with those answers. How do I pass the ball? How do I swim? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. How do I kick better? Um, but equally, it's also kind of getting them to, to run it as well and then to tweak it. And so it's kind of like, so it's a combination of, of that tell, enable, sell, and then just, just wondering how that happened in the first place. Because half the time you look at a player and you're thinking, I don't, don't really want to uncoach that because she's already doing what I wanted to do. And sometimes a lot better than I could do anyway. So it's, it's that. And also probably, you know, at 55 now, I don't, I don't actually have an ego anymore. So it's a case of I've got it wrong more times and I've learnt from my mistakes. And I think that's really, really important. Um, and just allowing them to, to have a massive voice in how they want to play. And that's kind of it, really. Um, he also is so committed. Like, I genuinely think he eats, sleeps and breathes rugby. He is always here, on time, always, like, outside of our hours. He's always going to other places to look at different coaches, how they're coaching to make our sessions better, uh, to help improve us as a team and individuals. Um, and, yeah, he also fights our corner. So, as women in a male-dominated sport, sometimes we can be a bit overlooked, but there is no risk of that happening with Steve. He fights our corner for everything in terms of like resources, pitch time, kit, like everything. Um, he fights our corner completely um, so that we can have everything we need to be as good as we can. And yeah, he just believes in each and every one of us. So yeah, he's good. He's always, he's always at the end of the phone for like rugby matters. And also he's really like caring and understanding. So if we have something like if we've got a dilemma, in like either rugby or personal life, he's always there as a support. Um, I think all the girls feel that, that he's really, um, yeah, he's, he really looks out for us. Lottie, you got burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Carefully your scare forward. Get away. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, on game days, I feel more of a sense not, I wouldn't call it pressure, but obviously I am a leadership role, so I have to be quite calm. Inside I might be really nervous, but I can't let that show to all the other girls and get everyone riled up. This is their first game, so they're going to make errors, so let's capitalise on them. If they drop the ball, we kill. If there is a ball on the floor, we jump on that, and that is our ball, okay? So let's put pressure on them, they haven't played as a team, they'll be scared, so let's do it, let's get them. Okay. Right, let's go, hands in. Let's go, Bruno. Okay, ready? Bruno! Bruno! Get down, move the ball, go! Go for it, go for it, go for it, go! Keep going, keep going, keep going! Well played! Well played! Well played! Well played! Well played! Defence. Why is the defence going well? He's got so much better. Because our line speed. Line, line speed. What else? Standing. What else? Keep going. One on one tackles, okay? You're making those hits every time, okay? Again, you know, five tackles in the first minute alone, okay? And we're icing everything and we're letting the players decide when they want to get to the ball. It's so obvious when it's on, okay? Happy with that? <laughs>
to go to school. Yes, I do. people, those front row, okay, because at the end of the day, right, without a solid platform, especially for Scrum, okay, we wouldn't have had a problem today. Everybody sees, everybody in school has tried, and nobody sees the dirty work which those girls have to do, okay, so really well played the front row, okay, awesome, well played, yeah. all three of you. Okay, but, fantastic team performance, and teams who defend the best win the game, okay, and today, the tackling was absolutely superb, okay, absolutely fantastic, okay, it got better from last week, and last week was good, okay, so you should be really happy with yourselves, okay, so rest up. Put a little bit of money behind the bar for you tonight. Okay. Um, so don't listen to Emily just for once. Okay, no, 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 no. Um, but I can't thank you enough for that. It was a pleasure to watch and really well played all of it. Well done. I'll be here for as long as I feel that I'm, I'm contributing and making a difference and, and helping. Okay, the moment I, I, I stop doing that, the moment I start being a part of the furniture, I'll move on. Okay, and I'll probably be moved on to be fair. For me personally, I want to really sort of build the program with the Trojans at the minute, develop it into a really good, strong, comprehensive program, work with the partner schools, attract um, good rugby players from across the country to want to come to Brunel and want to come to Ealing and sort of get a really high standard of women's rugby going here. I think it will continue to grow over the next few years and a bit disappointed I'm not going to be here to see it but hopefully I'll come back and help help if I can and be a supporter if, if not anything else. So where do I see the future of, of, of rugby at Ealing Trailfinders um, under the Trojans banner is, is a, um, I, I see it as a uh, not, not an aspiration, I see it as a, a genuine, genuine option um, to compete competitively at the top level of English rugby um, and indeed Europeans should that actually go away with, with the investment, with the support, with the vision we've got um, from, from the DOR here and the ownership. Um, you know, at the end of the day, why, why shouldn't we? Uh, I mean, women's rugby itself is growing and I think Trail Finders Trojans has sort of entered at the right kind of time with the sort of growing of the sport. Um, obviously looking forward we'd love to get the women's to have like a, a premiership team I think I think that's an aspiration going forward I mean with the resources we have I can see that there's not much of a limit I can see it being uh, in the premiership whenever that may be um, I yeah I just think with all the resources so we've got physio SNC etc coaches um, it can go wherever so as long as we keep building with the girls we have, keep bringing up numbers, um, it's going to push everyone's level up because as soon as someone feels threatened that their number's going to get taken, they're going to train harder, they're going to work harder, they're going to push themselves further, um, which is just going to make the team even better. So as long as we keep recruiting loads of new girls, uh, fresh people each year, I think the team has no limit. Um, people keep saying there's not enough talented women athletes to compete with 14 teams in the Premiership, um, should we be successful? Well, that's our job to then make some more, go and find some more uh, and build um, a bigger talent pool of athletes to compete at the top level. So in answer to your question, I see that it's, it's limitless. Um, the ambition at Trail Finders is, is clear um, and that should be the same for women as well as, as, as for men.